Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Home Tastic by Rizwana. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all few beautiful home decor DIYs to decorate my living room. Hope you all will enjoy today's video. So let's get started with the first DIY. So here I am making some DIY wall frames. Actually in my previous living room makeover videos, many people asked me about the wall frames. Actually those are from Amazon, but I thought that why can't we make similar ones using a cardboard. Though it does not look that perfect, but, but I thought it's okay. So for that I have taken a waste cardboard and I have marked the measurements using an existing frame and I'll make a cutout. Now likewise cut the inner part also. So here is my frame ready. Actually I wanted something that I can do very quickly so that's why I'm not doing anything extra on this. If you want to still improve, enhance the texture of the frame you can use wall putty or anything like you can use wool to wrap around the frame. So here I have taken a beautiful gold printed paper to attach it on the frame. These were purchased from a local shop, I think Himalaya Book World I guess. So likewise I am going to do it for all the four frames and cut the extras of the paper like this. We can also make the same using Banaras cloth also. So here I have made four similar frames, actually I made a mistake here, I should have painted it before attaching the paper but I am going to do that for the other frames. So here I am painting the frame with uh, black colors. I am done with painting the frame so I will be attaching the different color papers like the first one. So that's it my frames are ready now moving on to our next DIY. This one is going to be a very interesting DIY guys so we might be ordering many things online right so whenever we order groceries on Flipkart we used to receive jute bags which are really nice um, so quality wise also they are so good so today I am going to use those grocery bags as cushion covers so let's see how it goes. So first I have made a flat design on the paper and I am cutting the paper. So these are the grocery bags that I have mentioned. So these are jute bags, really good quality wise. And the size is also perfect for a 16 by 16 cushion. So today I'm going to use these as cushion covers by decorating it. I'll show you three different designs. So for the first design, I am going to make a flower design using the paper cutout that I have made. Now take some woolen pom-poms, I had these woolen pom-poms for a very long time so finally the time has come to use it. If you want pom-poms also it's available on Amazon, I purchased this long bag for I guess under 200 rupees, I got uh, around 500 pom-poms. So I'll be attaching these pom-poms on this flower design. So here is my first cushion cover ready. You can just remove those handles and get it stitched or put a zip to put the pillow inside. Isn't it looking so pretty? So let's move on to the another design. This one is very basic design guys. So I'll be attaching all the multicolor pom poms on the four sides like this. So here why I am showing you three different types of design means so that you can choose anything whatever you liked. So here is my another cushion cover ready. Moving on to the third design so here and whenever you are attaching pom pom make sure to put the newspaper inside it otherwise the two sides will get attached because of the glue. So in this design I will be attaching the pom poms diagonally. So 
first I made it like this later I changed my mind and I filled the gaps and then it became like this for me it's looking good only let me know your thoughts also in the comment section about these cushion covers so here is my third one also ready Moving on to a third DIY, I am going to make a tray using this waste plastic box. So for that, I will be cutting the edges. First, using a hot knife. And I will be making this kind of design using a cap. This tray can be used to decorate on any center table, coffee table or any side table also. Actually, I had the small box available. If you have any big or uh, wider one, you can uh, make a good tray out of it. So we have to cut it like this. Now I'll be using a decoupage paper to cover the inner surface of the tray. You can use any kind of printed paper for this one. It need not to be specifically a decoupage paper only. So before attaching the paper, I'll be painting it with white color because obviously white color trays are going to look very beautiful and aesthetic. As this one is very small, we can use this as a trinket dish also on our dressing tables. So I'm done with the painting, now I'll be applying some glue inside it and attach the paper on it. I am applying one more layer of deco magic glue to protect the paper and the design and make it long lasting. So that's it my cute DIY tray or a trinket dish is ready. Now moving on to our fourth DIY especially for my living room I was thinking that where could I put remote controls in one place and decorate it at the same time. So first I am making a base for that I have taken a cardboard and I am attaching ice cream sticks on it. So my base is ready, let's make the holders now. For that I have taken these two cookie tins, now I will be doing the same for these tins also. I will attach the ice cream sticks on it to cover these tins. This one is really simple guys but going to be very useful and beautiful in your living room. Here I am doing the same for the other tin also. I am done with attaching the sticks on both the tins. Now to make it little more attractive, I will be painting it with some beautiful acrylic paint. While I paint this, let me tell you guys, I am so happy with the feedback that I received on my last makeover video. Uh, most of you liked it very much and some of you had questions like why um, Almira is there and how can we open that Almira. I have answered everyone's questions in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting on my videos guys. That means a lot to me. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video also and if you really like it, I request you to press the like button and let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Please wait till the end so I'll show you how I style all these things in my living room so here i have secured all the sticks using a jute rope on the top and to make it little more attractive i am attaching some white pearls on this i am just covering this edge part using a bamboo stick now i'll be attaching these two tins on the base So this one is done moving on to our last DIY this is really fun and this is Pinterest inspired DIY guys so long back I purchased these hand keys actually to make a table runner only I purchased these type of hand keys so today I'll be making that and this is going to be a very unique type of uh, table runner guys so to make the runner we have to first arrange the hand keys like this 
and we need not to know any stitching and all we can just use any fabric glue or normal glue gun to attach it so i'll be using glue gun here if you know stitching you can also stitch this but for those who don't know stitching like me we can use glue gun or fabric glues like this so let's attach it on the edges of the hand keys like this and on both the edges i have made these kind of triangles folded the hand keys and um, i'll be attaching these triangles on the edges on both the edges to make it look like a runner the cost of this hand keys is 40 or 50 rupees around and see how we can make a beautiful runner out of it and here we made two woolen tassels and attached it on both the sides so we are done with all our diys now it's time to style it using the double sided plaster i am attaching these frames on the wall and here is my tv remote holder so in one tin i'll put some flowers for decoration and in another holder i'll put the remote controls and here i am styling my table runner on my center table on this goes my beautiful diy tray which is completely matching with the runner also this one is also a diy flower vase which i made out of a medicine bottle this one i already had posted uh, on my channel so i'm styling this cute tray so let's have an overall look of my living room corner guys hope you all will like it So these are the five beautiful DIYs that I wanted to share with you today. Hope you all liked this and enjoyed today's video. If you have really liked it, as always, I request you to press the like button and also do let me know your thoughts on these DIYs in the comment section. Which one you liked most, or if you have any better suggestions, do let me know. And in case you are new to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be coming up with most affordable home decor, home makeover ideas every week. and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss a notification of my videos so that's all for today friends let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care